Here is a quick update on how my aquarium is doing after the video I posted last week um, with some RTN, STN issues of Acros. Um, if you watched that video, you saw that I found a broken heater after noticing some Acropora tissue necrosis. So after a week of that heater being out, almost all of my coral are doing just fine as if nothing happened. I sent out an ICP test two days before I found the issue and made that video. Um, so it was kind of convenient that, well, I guess it's more of a coincidence that I sent out an ICP test, which I never do, right before I found an issue that could be metal related. So I got it for free from buying these Ghanis from Unique Corals during a live sale. I guess I won a raffle with some free coral and uh, a uh, Triton test. I had it, sent it out, and it just so happened two days later I noticed some issues. So I got the results back and interestingly enough, it said everything in my aquarium is just fine. Copper was undetected, all the other heavy metals were undetected, and then all of the good elements were within their range. So at this point, I'm not sure what caused the tissue necrosis on a couple of these acros, but I, if I was to guess, I think maybe it might have been a uh, electrical issue. So as the heater kicks on, um, it might have, I don't know, shocked the tank or stray voltage or whatever you want to call it, um, which has been associated with acropora issues. I think that may have been the cause or there's some copper in the tank that's undetectable on a test, but still has stressed out some coral. As you can see, color's still good. Most of the acros just look as good as they ever have. Um, this Aussie Toxic Slimer from WWC hasn't progressed that much in a week. You can see there's cyano growing on the dead spot from last week. Uh, the branch behind it, sorry if that's out of focus, but the branch behind it had a little more, but I suspect it was already on its way out. Good polyp extension everywhere else, so I'm not too worried about that one. This smooth skin, though, is not looking good. It had one or two branches a week ago, and then every day it's a little bit more. You can see this back half looks really bad. The front looks unaffected, so I'm going to pop that colony out get a couple nice chunky frags of that. All right, so there's the colony. It's a nice size piece. It's a shame that from here, all the way from the base, it's dying. Like a month or like, maybe not even that, a couple weeks ago, this was all fleshed over. So what I'm gonna do is give it a little buffer area of where it's healthy and kind of cut some of these nice pieces here on the outside, frag those and hope for the best. Bottom line, I don't want this much dead coral in my tank right now, even if it affects this colony. I would rather not have a half dead coral than have a couple frags of it. So I'm gonna cut it up so I'm gonna cut these. I have a little bit of tank water with a little bit of iodine, Lugol's iodine to, uh, you know, if there's any secondary infection issues, just to dip it. Whoop. So I got a few nice frags there that I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna trash this, even though there's some good tissue up here, the death line kind of approaches that. And then all these branches fuse together. So I have no way of cutting that without completely shattering what's left. So I'm just gonna to toss it. So I ended up with six frags down here. You can see there. It's got a nice coloration. So these are pretty healthy pieces. 
hopefully they'll be fine. And then up here, I have the chunkiest piece. I put it on this rock and I'm gonna glue this right where it was before and hopefully this piece survives. So there you go. The piece has been glued down that I'm going to keep. It probably sets me back about a year's growth on that piece. And I have that plus six others, so um, I imagine at least one of those seven will survive. So I think at this point, I'm not gonna do anything else to this tank in regard of that RTN, STN issue. I think it was the heater. I'm not 100% sure, um, but there's nothing else I'm gonna do at this point to change. So hopefully everything does all right. If I lose those few pieces that are showing issues, that's fine, because everything else is doing okay. So that is it. Hopefully nothing else progresses at this point. If it does, um, I guess that's life. I've never had a tank crash, so if this is my first major coral crash, then so be it. Um, if that's the case, then I'd probably go back to a mixed reef, um, put some big leather colonies in here, put some SPS, some LPS, maybe drop the flow. Um, but we'll get there if that happens. I don't think anything's gonna happen beyond the corals that were already stressed. So keep a look out because tomorrow this tank turns one years old since upgrading. And I'm gonna do a big video update for the one year anniversary or birthday, whatever you wanna call it. So keep an eye out on that. Um, it might take me a week or two, so probably sometime this month uh, that will drop. Thanks for tuning in, bye.